George Sample the third. My name is Stephanie Holtz and I'm from here, Utah. What did my parents' generation leave behind? Um I'm not sure how to answer that question. Our parents left behind. <laughs> I think the older generations have left behind a little bit of a mess, kind of socially, environmentally, politically, that it's going to be up to us and our children and their children to work out. A lot of debt. <laughs> um. And they had to and did live a life that illuminated to us some of the things that we didn't want to replicate. I think they're kind of a self-indulgent generation as well, like people who grew up in the 60s and that free love era. Uh, I think the new generation is too much online, you know? Like, I like the old generation. Like, you live for real life, you know? Not uh, virtual life. And in terms of what we'll leave behind, I think, I mean, because of our restlessness, we're always looking for the next best thing, and I think that's going to lead to a lot of new innovations and you know, technology or whatever it might be. And We'll just kind of build on that base. And what we're going to leave is going to be amazing and just the possibilities of doing anything. You put your mind to it, your heart into it, you can achieve it, man. There's no, there's no, no excuses anymore. There's definitely a, a sense of uh, competitiveness, I think, because I think people, people believe that they can do whatever they want, which is cool, and they can. But because of that, everyone's trying to do something. Everyone's trying to be someone, be something. I think our generation cares a lot more about knowing that we've made a dent rather than necessarily finding monetary success. We can see humanity in people that don't just look like ourselves. I guess at the very center of that is a feeling of community over individual. And I think that's one of the biggest differences in our generation.